And what we wanted to do here was actually find the, or we wanted to optimize this tuning fork in order to obtain a, a 440 hertz signal, um, which is a, a, a classical A um, tuning fork. And so what we did was we set up an, an objective to meet, and we wanted to target an eigenvalue, uh, which happened to be the fourth mode, which is the clamping mode of these two prongs. And we're targeting that, that value. This is the eigenvalue here, 6.74, e to the 6. Uh, that corresponds to a 440 hertz. And um, we set up a constraint to just make sure that it can't go, you know, beyond a, or below a certain frequency. Uh, the variable that we're actually going to be modifying is this length from here to here. Which is we have this sketch dimension here. And we're going to be using just, it, it was a continuously variable uh, optimization technique where the, the optimization solver actually picks values and um, narrows in on the actual uh, target value that we wanted to achieve. And so you can see here we have a maximum value and a minimum value of 0.1, because obviously we don't want, if it's that small, it's not going to work. But um, 8 was r roughly the, the dimension, the starting dimension here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the, the optimization results. And as you can see here, it took um, 76 iterations before I found the, the actual target value, uh, which is not uncommon. And so we can preview. This is the actual finalized shape in order that targets this exact eigenvalue, 764, e to the 6. And um, we can view the results. As you see here, mode four, which is the actual clamping mode, actually hits 440 hertz with this this length. So you can have different. If we were limited in this case to this particular stock size stock of uh, material, this is how we'd have to cut it in order to uh, obtain this this natural frequency. And we can kind of kind of meet that. But there's our. Um, clamping mode, ringing mode of 440 hertz.